Caleb used juice to make popsicles. The function f of x equals negative 50x plus 30 approximates the volume in fluid ounces of juice Caleb had remaining after making x popsicles. Which statement is the best interpretation of the y-intercept of the graph of y equals f of x in the xy plane in this context? So let's draw a sketch of this function. So on the x-axis we'll put number of popsicles and on the y-axis we'll put the amount of juice left. So this will be x and this will be y. And this function looks something like this. It's a downward sloping function since the slope is negative 5 here, which is a negative number, and the y-intercept will be at y equals 30 on the y equals on the y-axis up here. So this graph basically tells us that every time that Caleb makes a popsicle, the amount of juice remaining decreases. And the y-intercept, which is the value of the amount of juice at x equals 0, and here x is the number of popsicles. So when Caleb has not made any popsicles yet, the amount of juice left is the y-intercept. So the y-intercept of this graph is 30, which means that when zero popsicles have been made, Caleb has 30 fluid ounces of juice remaining, which means that he initially started with 30 ounces. So the y-intercept is how much juice that Caleb had initially, before he made any popsicles, which is answer choice C.